Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. My name is Sarah and I'm your quiz host today. Welcome to the second UX Research Functional Group update of 2018. A super quick recap on today's rules. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I'd like you to guess what the answer is by entering your choice, A, B or C, into the chat window. And you need to do that before the countdown ends. You can only guess once per question or you will be disqualified. Keep a note of how many answers you get right as I'll ask you to post your score in the chat window a little later on. If you manage to correctly answer two or more of the three questions I asked today, you'll be entered into a prize draw in March to win a pair of GitLab sunglasses. People with entries so far are Bob, Rebecca, Paul Schofield, Nadia, Brendan, Kristen, Sarah V, Luca and Pedro. So time to get your game face on people. Your first question. How many questions did I get asked during my presentation at FOSDEM? So FOSDEM is a free event for software developers to meet, share ideas and collaborate. It's held every year in Brussels and my presentation was called A Crash Course on Remote Moderated Usability Testing. And I wanted to show people that you don't need to be a researcher or have a, a huge budget to run remote usability testing sessions on open source projects. I cover things like sourcing users, writing a script, speaking with users and sharing results. Okay, so say Toon says B. We've got Chris has also said B. We've got three seconds to go. A couple of A's in there, Pedro says A. Okay, time's up. So if you said A, nine, you would be correct. During my presentation, I received nine questions. Some of these included, how long are your usability testing sessions? Do you test uh, just existing features or prototypes as well? And how do you deal with any technical issues a user might have during a session? And I also got a lot more questions throughout the day. So I'm hoping that's a good sign that people are interested in conducting their own sessions. So question two. So as Sarah mentioned in her UX functional group update, the UX team's uh, OKRs changed towards the end of January. And one of our new OKRs is to reduce the installation time of DevOps for Kubernetes by 50%. And in order to achieve this OKR, UX research first needed to establish a baseline installation time. So to ensure that both Kaffer and I were familiar with the process so we could accurately test it with users, we asked Matt Plumzak to run through the process of setting up a GitLab project on a Kubernetes cluster and to show us how to configure auto DevOps. So Matt kindly obliged, but how long do you think it took him to demo this process? So Rebecca says B, Chris says C, are you right? Da, da, da. Okay, three seconds, two seconds, one. Okay, time's up. So if you said A, up to 30 minutes, you'd be completely wrong. Uh, if you said C, over one hour, you'd be correct. So it actually took Mark one hour and four minutes. Now, Mark encountered a lot of problems along the way. And we actually established that as it currently stands, the process is too convoluted and complex to test with users. So we didn't feel that users would be able to successfully complete the process and the testing wouldn't really tell us anything that we didn't already know. So we've decided to use Mark's demo as our baseline installation time. And we've made a note of all the problems he encountered. And the whole of the UX team has watched the demo and we've already started listing some possible solutions. And the idea is to prototype those solutions and then the UX research team will test the solutions with users. Question number three. So another new OKR for the UX team is to establish operations engineers as a first class citizen within GitLab. So what assumptions do we already have about operations engineers? What are we hoping to prove or disprove? I can see some intense reading faces right now. So we have a lot of C's coming through. Okay, three seconds. Two seconds, 
time's up. If you said C, both, you would be correct. Uh, we believe an operations engineer could be either of the people we described on this slide. To test this assumption, we're rolling out a survey this week and we'll follow up the survey with some user interviews. And we want to understand what operations engineers hope to get out of GitLab today and what we can offer them in the future. And ultimately, we want to help GitLab become the market leader in the next analyst reports for the various operations markets. So if you know of any operations engineers who wouldn't mind sharing their experiences with the UX team here at GitLab, please do share this survey with them. Uh, we'll post a link to it in Slack, uh, probably in the general channel as soon as it's available. So please now total up your scores uh, and post them into the chat window. Uh, whilst we're making a note of any scores, I'd be happy to take any questions. Thanks, Catherine. Catherine's telling you scores. <laughs> That's good to know. Andre, you got two, but you still get an entry, so that's great. Comment two, fantastic. Okay, if there's no further questions, then thank you very much for listening and taking part and enjoy the rest of your day.